So David Tutondo, how frustrating was it then on Tuesday night going to Walsall and it being called off, you know, relatively close to kickoff? Yeah, um, it was pretty frustrating for us. Um, we we wanted the game to kind of go ahead so we can keep our momentum after victory that way to Crawley, but yeah, we weren't able to do so, but that's all right. And you were saying the pitch did look bad in places from what you could see when you were there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the majority of the pitch looked looked all right, but I think in the corner flag areas it it was a bit waterlogged, so uh, better to be safe than sorry. You mentioned that momentum. That was a real factor, wasn't it? A lot of supporters thinking, yeah, great, another away game after a terrific win at Crawley. Yeah, yeah. I've, we've, we've played some good stuff away from home. Um, and obviously after getting that win, you just want to follow it up as quick as possible. You know, we're feeling good. Um, but yeah, you know, we have to make sure that on the weekend now, we have to come out the same way with the same positivity and the same energy. It must have done morale a power of good, mustn't it, coming on the back of that disappointing home defeat to Colchester? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and you know, that's something that we've spoken about, um, getting the home form right. Um, but, you know, as long as you're, you're winning games here and there, then eventually you should be able to pick up a run. Do you think you're actually a better away team now, which seems quite remarkable to talk about, you know, how the season started? Yeah, yeah well, that's, that's sort of the way it's panning out and you always want to be good at home so it's it's something that we're trying to rectify because that is pretty disappointing we don't want to be an away team we want to be a home team first and foremost um i guess you want to be both at the end of the day but yeah um it's something that that uh we are conscious of and we're trying to improve and Sutton united at the weekend a team fighting for their lives really yeah yeah that's that's going to be a tough game uh Sutton, they're a good side when we Played them away at their place. I think we won three two. Uh, Joel got the last minute goal, and you know we know what they bring. They're a very um, physical team, uh, very athletic. They have some good players there, and and we know we have to be on our A game to beat them. And I guess as well, very similar to Colchester when they came here and they proved that they can come here and win. Yeah, yeah. I guess m uh, most teams when you play away from home, you have a specific game plan. Um, I don't think theirs will be that much different to Colchester in the sense that they'll they'll look to keep it nice and tight and uh, solid and then look to hit us on the break when they can. But, you know, we'll just look to do what we do best and impose ourselves on the game. From your perspective, how are all the, the new players fitting in? Because there's a lot of them, aren't there? It was transfer yeah. deadline day a week ago, an awful lot of new arrivals in January. Yeah, really well, really well. I mean, they're all lovely boys. Uh, first and foremost and they're really good players um, it, it was nice for a few of them to get starts on on the weekend against Crawley uh, Nelson and uh, Julian who played really well and then you got Jed who got his two goals as well which were sublime for us so you know we just um, they'll be sort of getting used to us while we're getting used to them uh, but yeah the way they've started has been perfect yeah and Jed Garner scoring too that's really important especially after losing Mellon in the January window, having a, a goal scorer is imperative, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, massive, absolutely massive for us because he's, he's worked his socks off, Jed. You know, it, literally every day in training he's working his socks off. So we just, we knew once it fell, it would it fall quite nicely for him and, and he took both goals superbly on the weekend, I thought. And still competition for places. I mean, you've, you've just come back into the side, haven't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was out for a while. I think it was three, three, or, three or so games, but um, the... Lads were playing really well, and um, that's the good thing about it. When you have that healthy competition, when you go in, you don't want to come back out uh, because you know it might be a while until you get another opportunity. Um, but yeah, we're in a good place. I feel like so we just have to keep up the momentum. And after that Crawley win, is a playoff challenge a real possibility still? Do you think? Yeah, yeah, of course. I, you know, we we're always. Um, taking one step at a time and we're always extremely positive here. I think that's the mindset that the gaffer has and everyone in the change room, you know. Uh, but we do realise it's a, it's a week in, week out job. It's a day by day. You know, we take it one step at a time and, and we never look too far ahead. Get money for your old phone.